Hi, Elisha. Can we talk? What do you want? Come to gloat? No. I'm nothing like Delia. Then why are you with her? Tolerating her? She's an evil, bitter, sour lemon. Well, some say opposites attract. All I came to say is that I'm really sorry about what Delia and I did. It's a bit late for that now, don't you think? Mike's Tasty Dishes has been robbed by the street's personality disordered bitch. Better late than never. I also wanted to say that it was all Delia's idea to rob you. I was really happy working for you at Mike's Tasty Dishes, but she wanted more control over everything. I can't stop her. She forced me into it. And I truly am sorry. I realize that you're practically a second mother to me, so I should have more respect for you. Yeah, well, we all have choices, Lee. You have your rights, in which she never can take away. Thanks for apologizing, but there was really no need. The damage you have both caused has already been done. There is no coming back from that. And in future, with that loathsome woman of yours, get a bloody backbone. She cannot dictate your life. I remember a time when you had a personality and a mind of your own, Lee. Maybe start using it. I swear to God you are a miracle worker. Thank you so 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 much. I owe you big time. And it's taken you all these years to figure out I'm a miracle, Elisha? I say, you must have some learning difficulties if you haven't caught up yet. Says the man who doesn't understand the meaning of any of the slang terms used nowadays. Sorry that I have been in Israel, Elisha. Anyway, I have actually been doing some research into the slang terminology. Here, let me demonstrate. A white proof, in it blood. This is sick. Mood. All that has been around donkey's years. Anyway, what miracles have I performed? I need to add it to the list I keep of all the good things I have done. Which I can imagine doesn't outweigh the bad things you have done. Lee came into the cafe this morning. He apologized for everything. I mean it would have been great if Delia had the guts to deliver the apology herself, but I guess whatever you said to him the other day must have processed in his simple mind. Thank you. I wonder if Delia knows that Lee apologized. I might use that against her. You are so welcome, Elisha. Actually, while you are here, in my company, can you reminisce over the times we had when I was younger? It's like it's gone through one ear and out the other. Sure. So what do you want to remember? Let's start with how we met. Ha <laughs> ha. You are so funny. We've known each other from the day we were born. Surely I don't have to tell you that. Oh yeah. I am pretty hilarious. And your mom. She was that woman. Her name is Daisy. You can't use pronouns like that these days. People are offended if you are honest about their... Well anything really. You can barely breath these days without someone giving you a filthy look. Oh Daisy. Course. She fucked that horrible little git justice right? Where's he now? Well mum's dead now. And justice died after Vanessa stabbed him the back. More like justice on justice for killing Daisy. Ooh, it's all coming back to me now. Tell me more. What happened at school? Thoughts if we went to the same one? Come on. How could you forget school? You were framed by Zahatnin for pushing nerdy old Brian into the road. No one knows if he's dead or alive anymore. And Rosie left the gas taps on intentionally in the science classroom and blew up Mr. Jar Red. Surely you can't forget that? Oh shit. Sounds like a bit of a soap. What else can I remember from school? Oh yes, that's right. I had an opportunity. To go to college? You never went to college. You went to work at Money Grabber's Bank. Then got involved with all the Freemason drama with Deborah. Excuse me? I went to go work in a bank? What do I know about maths? Fuck all. I know about fame and looking great and being in my mid-twenties. And don't even get me started on Jade with her personality disorder rehabilitation thing. Ah, good times. Oh, is she still about? We should catch up soon. Only if you want to go and stay with her and her weirdo husband El Curcio in Italy, with their daughter Olive. She was all a weird bugger that Jade. Probably why she has weirded names in her family. What sort of name is El Curcio? 
You can't have seriously forgotten all of that? That was like the peak of our lives. What can I say?